well, first I sort of sat down and and thought about, okay, what does it what does it mean to me? Because I think with a lot of my paintings, um, it has to first, you know, resonate with myself, um, and it has to sort of mean something to me. Because um, I, I talked earlier about, um, you know, my, I paint landscapes, and it's it's because I'm sort of surrounded by these sort of Pennine landscapes, and that's why I paint them. So for this as well, I I thought, right, what does it mean to me? I enjoy sitting down with a cup of tea and chatting with my friends. I enjoy having fish and chips on a Friday night, and and I've there's a, a Wellies uh, painting. I just walk through my front door, and there's about twenty pairs of Wellies, all different sizes. Not quite sure which ones belong to who, and if people come and visit then it's fine because we've got a pair to fit you, so don't worry, you won't ruin your shoes. So um, so it's things like that that, you know, f for myself, um, um, they make me smile and I'm interested in them. And, and I think they sort, of, they, they sort of map out my own life as well, I think. So it sort of fits quite nicely um, with the best of British food, local produce, things that have been grown and sort of reared in this country um, to to then have a, an exhibition, Best of British, which um, just encapsulates and acknowledges everything that's good about this country and the quirkiness and the little eccentricities that make it what it is. Apart from you know the the rich history and and our uh, um, inventions and so yeah it's been a real sort of pleasure um, doing the exhibition um, sort of something off my usual like painting track that I'm on and it's been quite refreshing and something I'd want to look into more so. It's a very northern scene, and I've liked Olivia's work for a while, and so it's the first piece I bought. And uh, it's the colours, the buildings, just the whole scene. Um, there's just something that caught my eye, and when I saw it, um, I decided I really wanted it. Can't explain why. Sometimes you can't. That's hard for you. And I thought, well, if someone else bought it, how would I feel? Um, and that's when I knew I had to get it. In terms of the first private view, which I've attended yeah I think it's been I think it's been really successful um, and I yeah I have been surprised at the turnout and it's it's really um, it's really nice just to see people you know coming out and um, looking at wanting to look at the paintings and have a real interest in them and want to meet me as well which is nice because um, yeah yeah I n never really think of think of it be on painting when I drop the paintings down with um, David at the gallery in Todmorden. I, I don't tend to see that side of things, the, the customer who um, buys them and, and the house that they're hung in and, you know, and, and what the customers saw in it for them to want to buy it, want to spend the money on it. You know, it's, it still surprises me now, so it's lovely to, um, you know, to to meet these people and just to, I know it sounds a bit slow, but just to thank them, thanks for, thanks for liking my work, thanks for um, wanting to like spend, spend your money on it. It's, it's great.